Hi there, I'm Sonal Merotra Kapoor and this is NDTV on your various social media platforms. Today we're going to talk about Omicron. So how lethal is Omicron? Is it more severe than Delta? Will it lead to more severe diseases? And will a third booster dose actually work against Omicron? Now these three questions have got the world on edge, including India. If you look at countries like UK, United States, even all of Europe, there the number of cases are rising, with that the number of restrictions rising as well. So far, we've been getting studies, some credible ones actually talking about how Omicron is not as severe, making a lot of countries hold back on what to do next when it comes to this variant. Countries like India holding on to a third booster dose, wondering what's going to happen next. But now, first study, a very credible one coming in from United Kingdom that actually contradicts everything that we know about Omicron so far and says that there is no evidence to suggest that Omicron is less severe than Delta. Hear that carefully. It does not say it is more severe. It just says there is no basis to suggest that it is less severe. And this has got the entire scientific community very, very worried. Let's look at this study in a little bit of detail. It comes from the Imperial College, London University, and it goes on to say that they analyze people, RT-PCR testing as well of various patients who were both inside the hospital and outside to try and gauge a sense of which way Omicron was really going. I looked at the study in detail, I read the paper, and these are some of the key issues that are important for you. If you look at Omicron versus natural immunity, meaning if you've had COVID and you get Omicron, and because of COVID, you have a certain level of antibody protection in your body. How will it work? To this, the study says that getting COVID will give you a protection of about 19% only against Omicron. This was much, much higher, remember, against the earlier variants that were made. So what is true and what is in line with what the earlier studies on Omicron have also said is that it does compromise your immunity. There is a technical term called immune escape that basically means that your natural infection at the moment would be about, would work about 19% against Omicron. Then we looked at the similar data on the two doses of vaccine. There it's roughly the same, about 20%. And one question that often comes to mind that I have sort of battled with and scientists also go on to say is that does a natural immunity plus two shots actually add up your immunity? There is no reason to believe that it actually adds up. So it's just about 20% whether you have a natural infection or you have taken both doses or the combination of two as well. Next, we look at a booster dose. Does that work against Omicron? Now, according to the Imperial College study, they go on to say that a booster dose does show a very significant amount of resistance towards Omicron and does enhance your immunity. In fact, it goes on to say that uh, blocking an estimated 55 to 80 percent of symptomatic cases when it came to Omicron and thus underlining how a booster dose can actually help. Is India listening? Is the question. Next, we looked at how severe is the infection and this is really the crux of the entire study over there. And I just want to read out an excerpt from there for you to understand how significant it is. It says that there is no evidence of Omicron cases being less severe than Delta. Hear that again. No evidence that Omicron patients are showing any less severe signs than those of Delta. And also says this is based on the proportion of testing hospital, testing positive cases and those who actually ended up in hospitals. However, a big caveat over here, while I look at the study as well and I bring it to you, is the fact that it remains unclear. They also say they're not very sure if this is going to be any more uh, sort of dangerous or any more severe than Delta. They say they are still, they would need much more time to actually conclude something like this. So in conclusion, what is the Imperial College study actually telling you and how did they come to this conclusion? They actually analyzed lots of patients and confirmed Omicron cases. In fact, let me tweak that over there. Remember we did a video earlier on the S-gene drop 
that told you that right at the time when RT-PCR testing has happened, you can tell whether or not, or it can give you an indication whether or not it is Omicron. It has actually used those cases as well. So big caveat again that these are not confirmed Omicron cases that they've picked up. But through various sources, a very preliminary report coming in is this. Remember, Imperial College and this study is very, very credible. A lot of scientists and policymakers and uh, health care officials are looking at this study in detail now, not just in India, but across the world to understand what to do next. This is coming at a time when more deaths are being reported and more number of cases continue to escalate both in India and across the world. So what happens next on Omicron? We don't know just yet. The only thing we do know is that we got to keep our mask on and we want to avoid any sort of non-essential travel, non-essential gathering as much as possible. Take care and stay safe.